With Thrive Automator, there are plenty of workflows that you can create in order to automate your work. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automation for the users who are purchasing one of your Thrive Apprentice courses. What you can do is add them in a workflow in which they are automatically tagged in your autoresponder and receive a thank you email with a discount code for the future purchases. So in this case, I'm going to be protecting my course with a send all product, which means that anyone trying to access my course will have to go through the purchasing process. So basically they have to buy the product through send all and that product from send all is tied to my Thrive Apprentice product. Now this automation only works for the already existing users of your website that are also part of your mailing list. The process of getting new leads can be done with the help of various forms that are available in the Thrive Editor, but keep in mind that the visitors who do not have an account will not be added to this workflow. So this example is only for those visitors who are registered users of your website and are also part of your mailing list. So I'm going to shortly let you know what we need for this tutorial before actually jumping into the process of setting up the automation. So we first need to have a Thrive Apprentice course that's added to a product. I'm going to show you how to do that in the following minutes. You also need to use a checkout tool or a membership plugin for the purchasing process. And I'm going to use Sendowl and this connection is already set up on my website. And I've also created my product in Sendowl. Then we're going to use an autoresponder for sending out the discount email. And in this example, I'm using active campaign where I set up an automation that sends out an email to all users that are tagged with the tag that I'm going to set up in Thrive Automator, but we'll get to that later. And of course, the last step of the process will be creating the automation in Thrive Automator. So I'm just going to briefly go over some of the steps, but I'm not going to go into much detail as we do have separate articles and videos for those processes. Okay, so let's jump into this tutorial. I have here my Tribe Apprentice courses. This is the one that I'm going to be using. So let's just click on the access restrictions tab and add this course to a product. And now as soon as I did that, I was redirected to this dashboard where I can start setting up various access requirements and access restriction rules for my product. So let's just open first the access requirements tab and make sure that we protect our product with send all. So this is the first section that I'm going to expand and I'm going to make sure that my tribal apprentice product is tied to the send all product that I've previously set up. Now let's just click save. And now you can see that as long as the user will purchase the following send all product, then the system will know and will also grant access to the user to my tribal apprentice course that's protected by this send all product. Next, in the Access Restriction Rules tab, you can configure the pages that will be shown for those users who do not have the right permissions to access the product. And here we will focus on these two situations for when the user is not logged in and those situations in which the user does not have the right permissions to access the course, which in this case means that the user has not yet made the purchase. So for the user not logged in, we can leave it as it is set to the default site behavior, which can be easily set from here. So the default site behavior for the user not logged in situation will mean that the user will be basically redirected to the login and registration page in order to be able to complete the login process. And then for the purchase protection section, I'm going to be using this option. And I'm stressing here on the importance of selecting this option due to the fact that only the users who are landing on this restricted content type of page will trigger the automation in the backend. So make sure this is the option that you select here. Now, of course, you can customize this custom content and make it match your offer. So for example, what I'm going to do here is add a small note, letting the users know that after they buy the product, they will be receiving a discount code in their inbox. Okay, so I've made my changes. Now, what I also want to do here is link this button to the purchase link for my send all product. And the way to get this purchase link is to access first the settings tab of your Thrive Apprentice, then click on send all, go to the purchase links card, generate the link for a product and then select the product from this list and the URL will be listed right here. So let's just copy it and link it to our button. All right. So this is the page that will be shown to the logged in user that are trying to access my Thrive Apprentice course. Now, after you've saved your work, come back to this tab, save it here as well. And your Thrive Apprentice is set up and ready to be sold through Sendall.
Now let me quickly show you what I've set up in my active campaign account. So I've created a new automation from this automations tab of my left navigation bar. And you can see that my automation will start when one of these actions will take place. And in this case is this one, when the tag August 22 is added to one of my leads. And when this happens, active campaign will send out an email containing the discount code for other products that the users can purchase from my Thrive Apprentice online school. Now let's proceed to the final step, which is setting up the automation in Thrive Automator. So first access Thrive Automator from the Thrive dashboard, add the new automation and don't forget to give it a name because of course you might have multiple automations on your website. So it's important to differentiate between them and know which automation does what. And now I'm gonna add my start trigger, which in this case, it's gonna be listed here under the Thrive Apprentice card. You can also find it here in this drop down list and it's gonna be this one, when the user makes the Thrive Apprentice purchase. And then we're gonna add a condition so that it will only focus on the course that we've just worked on. So let's select product name, make sure that it's gonna equal the exact name that we've set up in Sendowl. And now let's just copy the product name just as we've set it in our Sendowl account. So here as well, I want to highlight the fact that the product name needs to be the exact one that you've set up in Sendowl. So not the one from Thrive Apprentice or a different one, but the exact one copied from your Sendowl product list. And now we can continue with adding a new action, which is tagging the user in the autoresponder. So here let's just select active campaign and then add the tag that will be added to the users who trigger this automation. Keep in mind though that the process of setting this up in your autoresponder might be different depending on the autoresponder of your choice. Now the only thing left to do is to activate this automation and make sure we save our work. Now let's see how the process would unfold to any user who's trying to access this paid course of my online school. So I'm here on my course index page as a logged in user and I'm gonna go ahead and try to access this restricted course. Now, as soon as I try to do that, I'm taken to this restricted content page that we've previously set up in the Thrive Editor. So here's my buy button. The system will know I'm a logged in user, so the login will be successful. It's gonna redirect me to the checkout page. So let's just insert our card details and complete the purchase. So the way I've set this up in Sendal is to redirect the user to the course index page after the successful purchase. But of course, you can also set it up to redirect the user to the beginning of the course. So let's just click once more on the product that we've just bought and click on start course. And now I'm able to mark the lessons as complete because I now have access to this course, which I've just bought. And then in the back end, you can see that the automation was successfully executed. The tag was added to the user. So this means that in my inbox, I'm going to have the email sent from active campaign with the discount code that I can use for my future purchases. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. As always, we have many more videos of this type available in our knowledge base, and I strongly encourage you to check those out as well.